If you've ever wondered about the reality of Timu clothing, then today's video is for you, complete with try-ons. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. I'm Noreen Eppley, and on this channel, I love bringing you ways to organize, declutter, do DIYs, upcycles, and anything crafty. Today was not a planned video. I had ordered some summer clothes for myself, and when it came in, I thought, I'll bet a lot of you out there have not tried any of the Timu clothing because you just didn't know about it. So I decided to show you what I got. It's not a haul because I was just ordering these things for myself. And this is definitely not a sponsored video. I have done sponsored videos through Timu before though. So if you are interested in getting a discount, I do have a 30% off code for new users or for people who are reinstalling the app. There's a trick with the code though. If you download it, you have to use the code within the first hour. And I'm not doing this for any trickery. Timu will keep lessening the amount that you can use the coupon on. So the first hour you get 30% off the full $20 with a max of $24. If you do it after the first hour, it maxes out at $10. And if you do it after 24 hours, so let's say you decide to download the app, you put things in your cart and you're not quite sure, so you wait until the next day, Timu will not give you that 30% off anymore, and that is a new change. I'm very happy overall with Timu, but if you haven't tried them yet, or if you had uninstalled and you're thinking of trying them again, I encourage you to use the code for the 30% off, but do know the first hour is really when you need to make the purchase. So kind of browse through there first before looking at things and then download the coupon with the app so that you get the full 30% off. Anyway. Let's look at what I got. This was my first time getting a package that did not come in the orange packaging. It didn't say Timu on it anywhere, which was kind of surprising. I got myself a new phone case. I got wood for the laser machine and I got three dresses and some bras. Now the bras I already expect are not going to be good, but we'll try them. So the first little green dress I thought was super cute. It was $10.49 when I bought it. When I pulled it out, it felt like um, plastic. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It was a strange fabric and I would already didn't like it. But when I went to try it on, the thing I noticed right away is it was so short in the front. Uh, uh, the back was fine, but the front was way too short for me. So that was not something I would be comfortable with. So this one is automatically going back. The second dress was $8.48, so I thought it would be absolutely garbage, but when I pulled it out, I immediately loved the silky fabric. I thought it was amazing. And when I tried it on, I noticed that it definitely fit me better. And when you crossed it over, both of these were wraparound dresses, it was long and had more fabric that wrapped around. And both of these dresses were an extra large. I normally wear about a size eight, but according to the Timu website, I needed an extra large. So this one was a total win for me. And as I said, it was only $8 and what did I say, 48 cents. I wish it had pockets because I'm a definite pocket girl. And this little ruffle on the side, I'm probably gonna tuck a little bit because it, it hung a little bit strangely. But this one's a win. It comes in two more colors. And I think I'm probably going to go back and get the second one because as I said, I like that if the wind blows, nothing's going to show. The third dress was 938 and it was a t-shirt material. So I didn't have high hopes for this one either, but it was a nice silky fabric and I, I really liked the way it felt and I did like the color. And upon trying it on, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I didn't think it would be very flattering, but it hung pretty well. I'd probably wear a slip under it to just kind of smooth out the things that are on my body. But I thought the length was good. The material was very silky and smooth. And like I said, I for the price, you can't go wrong. So I'll be keeping this one as well. It looks to me like the side is a little bit shorter, but it, again, it could just be the way that it's hanging on me, but I thought this one was a win, and I like that it covers pretty well because I'm conservative with tops. 
Now, on to the bras. $22. I think there were six of them that I got, uh, and they were meant to be a bralette, but I liked that it had the snaps in the front. It said it was medium support, um, and so I, I thought, you know, what the heck, let's try it. It comes in a plum color. It also came in nude. It came with this rust color, black, pink, and gray. Now, you're not going to see me try these on, but let me just say these were garbage. If you are a smaller woman and you're not looking for a lot of support, these would probably be very comfortable. What I hated about them was there was a little give, but girls of my size need some support and this had none. It also only had one strip of elastic that went around the rib cage and that was extremely uncomfortable because that portion was tight but nothing else was. It also didn't have anything that was adjustable uh, and so it really felt like I was just putting on a men's tank top because there was zero support to it and even the snaps there was just it's a no. It's a total no for me. But if you like that type of very loose fitting thing and you're just really looking for something to cover your skin underneath the shirt, then they'd probably be great and the value of it was good. But I was looking for a heck of a lot more support and so these were a no for me. Something I did want to show is the quality of the clothes. A lot of people are always saying they're cheap, they're not made well. I found that all of the seams were doubled over. There was a nice quality seam and stitching on all of them. I found that in the places where things were connected, they were aligned properly. Uh, so I didn't see anything wrong with the quality of these at all. The bottom of this black dress had that rough edge stitching, so it wasn't a traditional hem, but that didn't bother me at all because it was a ruffle at the bottom of the dress. So I thought this was great. Same with the purple dress. It had very nice stitching all the way around. It was even. It didn't look like it was a rush type of quality at all. And my girls like shopping at Forever 21 and we are constantly finding issues with the seams there and the quality of stitching. As you can see here on the side seam, everything was lined up very well, even where it met the waistband. And this purple dress did have an actual hem in it. So I like that because sometimes I like to take hems out to make things just a little bit longer. Um, but in this case, this dress was plenty long for me. The black dress did not have a garment tag inside of it, but this one did. And as I said, I was using an extra large, but this one gave all the care and information on it. So if you were ever wondering about the actual quality of how things were manufactured, now you have a better idea, I hope. Now, even though this isn't clothing, I wanted to show you the phone case. This phone case was only $3.50. Most of the time when I get them from Amazon, they're about 10 bucks minimum, uh, which is what I had the last time. And the case had yellowed over time, but I've had it for four years. So I didn't have high hopes for this, but upon taking it out, it felt very rugged. And I like that it had silver on the buttons so that there was an actual tangible button to push. And I liked the protective area around the camera lens. It was a much thicker case than I expected. The only thing I was disappointed with is it was translucent and because I have a black phone, it showed. But I just stuck white paper inside of it to take away the opacity. And now it looks just like it did in the picture and I love it. The last thing, which probably isn't of any interest to you, was the wood that I use for my laser machine. 20 sheets of these is way less expensive than anything I've been able to find on Amazon. And because I don't have a table saw, I can't get large sheets from the hardware store and have them cut down. So if you're doing any types of crafts where you need wood like this, I think this was a great value. I've mentioned before, if you are interested in me checking out any craft items, let me know. I've gotten a few of your suggestions from past videos, but I'd like to do an actual craft haul. So 
Keep letting me know the things you'd like me to try out and I'd be happy to. I think it's so much easier sometimes for you to see how things come, the actual size, and let someone test it out for you before you spend your hard earned money. So please let me know what you'd like to see. Again, this was not a scheduled planned video, so I know it was a little bit different than normal, but since I was trying these dresses on, I thought I would just let you come along with me and let you know what I thought of them. So. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to use my code for 30% off, but do remember that one hour time frame because after that it drops from $20 to only applying to $10. And after that second hour, it drops down to nothing. So as I said a year ago, when I tried out Timu for the first time, I knew those amazing deals were eventually gonna go down because Amazon got their start the same way and I'm noticing the deals and the prices are starting to level out with Timu. So if you want that 30%, hurry. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons who allow me to make these videos and I will see you guys in just a few days. Bye.